There are a few lesson plans that you're going to need to do for this class. You have your individual lesson plan and you have a group lesson plan, your collaborative, integrative uh, lesson plan. Those are the two big ones um, that you are required to do. Uh, the individual lesson plan is just what it says. It's individual. Um, we, on purpose, are not giving you a template uh, for the lesson plan because there are so many different ways to write a lesson plan, um, and some other professors may have one that they prefer that you use, but we don't want you to feel like there's a right way to write out a lesson plan, and different school districts have their own templates, um, so if you are doing work in a district and they use a particular template, please feel free to use that one. Um, I have one that you can use uh, that's really a beast, but some students said it was really helpful because it's super detailed, like it lists everything out. Um, so it can be really helpful for you that way. Um, but it does need to have certain criteria for it. Um, we would like all of the lessons to be student-centered. Everybody knows what a direct instruction model looks like. Teacher talks, students take notes. There is That's not hard to plan a, a direct instruction lesson. It's not challenging you uh, to think of new things. There are lots of different ways um, to do a lesson. If you look in the Egan book, it gives several different strategies for different types of lesson delivery. Um, so you can refer to those. But we would like all of your lesson plans that you submit for this course to be student-centered. So that the teacher is not the center of attention, that the students are the center of attention, that the learning is uh, around them, constructing their knowledge and the activity, them being actively involved in their learning and not being given things, but that they are, it, they're the center of the of the experience. Um, so your model should not really involve the teacher stands at front. It should also not say the teacher, the teacher, the teacher, the teacher, the teacher. It should say the students, the students, the students, the students. Like what are the students doing? You know, and really focusing on on what students are doing. Uh, it needs to have clear learning objectives, and we're going to go over what those are and how to word them, and specifically what we're looking for, and those should be clearly enumerated. Um, the Common Core Standards um, should be clearly enumerated on there. Both math and ELA, not optional. You have to have both math and ELA standards. You can then add other ones on if you'd like to. If you'd like to use some of the Next Generation Science Standards, great. If you'd like to use some of the old um, state standards, that's fine too, but you need to have Common Core Math and Common Core English. Both. Even if you're a PE teacher, Common Core Math and Common Core English should be on there. Um, your rationale for learning, why are you, uh, why you, do they need to know this? Uh, the anticipatory set, uh, the different procedures, what does the class look like, including some of your classroom uh, management strategies, uh, your formative assessment, uh, your differentiation strategies, and um, enclosure. And part of this should also include uh, web depth of knowledge and and or Bloom's taxonomy. Um, really would like you to focus on web depth of knowledge. So, so let's just say that you should have web depth of knowledge uh, included in there as well. So all of those things need to be uh, in your complete lesson plan um, and then you should comment and share with others and get feedback and make improvements. So those are things that we expect from your lesson plans.